All right. Hey, everyone. Zen here with another episode of Closed One, a short video. So who here has read the book, The Secret? Anybody? All right. It's a self-help book. It teaches us that there is this concept, the law of attraction. It's one of the most prevalent principles in the world. And to use the law of attraction, you must think about what you want and not what you want to avoid. An example would be some people would say, I'm broke. Instead of saying that, I would like to save a lot of money. So that's an example of saying the positive, positive things. And there's three steps to the law of attraction. There is ask. Step one, step two is believe, and then step three is receive. It's ultimately positive thinking. So did you know that there was a study done on positive thinking and the result? Are you ready for this? Okay, so positive thinking does not work as good as you think. Study shows that the more you think about your dream and the more you focus on it, the less likely you're going to achieve it. Why? Why is that? Because you're pacifying yourself. There is a part of your brain. It's the same part that makes watching a movie so exhilarating, so thrilling that you forget that this movie is not real. The more you wish and the more you fantasize about achieving your goal, the more you pacify because you already have the emotional response of having that dream or having achieved that dream. So the good news is there is a way to perform better and to optimize towards a more positive outcome. So not just positive thinking. And this study reveals that by combining positive thinking, where you specifically write down the details of the wish, and I'll give you an example. Uh, about 2017, I was living in the Bay Area and our rent, we, we were at a condominium, 12th and Domain Street. It was in Oakland. It was a nice condo. I was paying almost $4,000 a month. And my wish was, wow, I'm working so hard. And all my salary was just going to rent. <laughs> my wish was to have a house. I didn't know which house. So my wife comes in. She's like, let's buy a house in Las Vegas at this street. Let's go over there, fly over there. Let's take a look at it and let's look at the logistics. And so she was literally identifying what the wish is for our family. So by combining that wish, making it specific with the best possible outcome, and you have to write it down, like what are some possible outcomes? Okay, we could get the house or we could just move to Las Vegas, save as much as we can. And then eventually after maybe a few years of saving, get the house after. So that would be my best positive outcome. So I have two. One is giving it my all to get this house or maybe saving a little bit more, moving uh, and then getting the house. So a little wait time, but it's okay. Uh, you have to make those sacrifices in order to level up. Step two is to specify the best outcome, which I've already covered. Step three is to specify the obstacles. Acknowledging and juxtaposing the obstacles with the outcome, with the wish, creates strong associations in your mind um, that results in higher energies, therefore better performance. So let me give you an example of an obstacle that I had to detail out. So number one, my credit score was bad. And I knew that in order to get a house, I need a good credit. I think my credit score at the time was around 500. 500. And 
First thing I had to do, pay off all my credit cards. Second thing, don't use my credit cards. Use only the money that you actually have. And so in order to do that, the plan was to eat ramen every single day. And we did this. We did not go out. We did not buy any unnecessary items shopping. It was my favorite back then. We cut all of that. In addition to that obstacle, I knew that we had to save all of the income that we were making at the time and reinvest that for a down payment in order to get the house. So good income and then good credit. So that that is the obstacle that I had to overcome. And then I formed the plan. So I'm going to share the plan that we created. And that plan was a crazy plan. I didn't think that we would pull it off. So yes, we pulled off the whole ramen, ramen evenings, uh, no shopping whatsoever, staying home. So this other plan in order to level up, we had to level down. And let me just share what we had to do. So I moved into a van. This is all right, round one. Gutting the van. Gutting the whole van. I did it. I did it. I did it, mom. I was talking to my mom. And so I bought a van for five hundred dollars. I gutted it. I insulated it. And as a result, we were able to get a house. <laughs> so from a van to that house, it is called the whoop technique. And to reiterate, first step you have to do is specify the wish. Write it down. Be as detail-oriented as you can be. Add your senses into it. Create those associations. Step two, specify your outcome. What are the best possible outcomes? Maybe have a outcome A and outcome B. What if, if this, then that. If A doesn't happen, then B has to happen. Whatever we do. Step three, identify your obstacles. What are your obstacles? If you want a house, you have a bad credit, make sure your credit goes up. That's your first obstacle to overcome. If you don't have um, down payment, what are you going to do to use all of your income to invest in a down payment? Identify the obstacle. And then final step, plan, 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 form a plan and execute on that plan. So we were able to buy a house in six months. That was a plan. <laughs> and this is the whoop technique. So whoop, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. And please tell me, what are some of your methods to optimize your day, to optimize and prime yourself for a positive outcome? All right. I would love to learn in the comment below. Take care, everyone. Bye.